What home improvements should I make before I sell? You know, there's a lot of information on the web, some good, some not so good. So let's dispel those rumors. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean on remodeling.hw.net. Since 1987, these guys have been collecting data. They started with 20 cities now, uh, including Phoenix. There are 102 metropolitans that they focus on. And what is important in Minnesota is not necessarily important in Phoenix. So each city is unique. And what they do is they have this little formula. The return on investment divided by cost equals the value. So um, each of these 36 categories that they measure um, is either going to make you or take money away from you when it's time to sell your home. Well, let's take a look at some of those items. Um, major kitchen remodel. You're gonna get back 64 cents on the dollar. M minor kitchen remodel. Maybe reface the cabinets, do a countertop. 73 cents return on the dollar. How about a new roof? You worried about your roof? Should you do it before you sell? It's kind of hard to, to, to tell. You know, that's really important to a buyer. However, um, you might want to leave that for negotiations with a buyer who may be attracted to your home because you're only going to get back 79 cents for every, each dollar spent. During the negotiation period, you may be able to um, fetch dollar for dollar back. So I'd wait on that. Uh, siding and stucco, here's a money maker. You're going to get back 118 cents for each dollar spent. So if your stucco is cracked and weather beaten, I would definitely spruce that up with a couple coats of paint, patch up any cracks that you have, and make it look good so that when the buyer approaches your house, they're impressed instead of thinking, gee, I wonder how the inside looks. Um, windows, um, wood windows, you're gonna get back 106 cents for each dollar spent. Vinyl, even more, 109 cents for each dollar that you spend. What about a bathroom remodel? Is your bathroom kind of tired looking, a little dated? Well, guess what? If you tear that bathroom out you're, and remodel it, you're only going to get 82 cents back for each dollar spent. So that's a quick snapshot of what some of these major improvements will fetch you. I definitely look at siding, I definitely consider windows if you've got single pane windows uh, where in Phoenix it's 110 in the summer and a lot of that energy bill is going literally out the window if you've got those kind of windows. Next, let's move over to consumer reports. In 2015, Consumer Reports published top five ways to boost the value of your home. Um, clean and declutter. Now, sometimes one of the best places to spend some money on is hire a cleaning service, a professional cleaning service. Hire a window cleaner. Um, these are great resources that don't cost very much money and it's gonna fetch you an extra three to five percent. What is that in terms of dollars? Well, if you have a $300,000 house, it means at least nine grand. That's a lot, and if you need a good window cleaner, a good maid, go, get the John C app. Go to the app store and type in John C, no spaces. Download that app, and all of my vendors, I have interviewed each of them, researched their background, make sure that they are a five-star rated company with, uh, make sure they look good on Angie's List, on Yelp, on Google, and then I meet with each of these people, and many of them, I've used them personally. So uh, if you'd like good resources for making these improvements, Download the John C. app. Next, uh, sprucing up the kitchen. What if you paint the kitchen, replace some of the old hardware? What if you might have an older faucet that's leaking? I definitely do that because you're going to get an extra three to seven percent for taking care of those items. Freshening up the bathrooms, caulking around the tub. If it's kind of got that dark line around the bottom where the tile meets the tub, you should take care of that. Uh, paint the the bathroom. Any fixtures that are corroded. Um, take care of those, get those replaced, an extra two to five percent in your pocket just for taking care of that. Painting rooms, touch up is needed. If uh, you have any bright colors in the house, I definitely paint over those with something neutral. You're looking at an additional one to three percent. Um, enhancing your exterior, if you've got overgrown shrubs, if your uh, lawn needs to be edged, it, you might need to power wash the outside and paint the trim, you're gonna get an extra two to five percent. So all in all, these items over here add up to 11 to 23 percent. Each house is unique, but that's a lot of money. On a $300,000 house, you're looking at an extra 
thousand dollars in your pocket just for doing these items. So I would strongly urge you to make sure these things are in good order. Some of these make sense. Painting the stucco, replacing the windows. If you can afford those things, you should do them, uh, especially the paint. Now, if um, you have any, any thoughts about selling your house and you're trying to make decisions about these things, I'd be happy to meet with you and, uh, and take a, a closer look at your home. If we need to bring any tradesmen over, we can, we can do that too. Um, but let's just make sure if we do the improvements to your home, they're going to fetch you top dollars so that you're not leaving any money behind when you, when you go.